Beauty is something that fashion designers rent for $2,000 a day. Beauty is uh, not just skin deep and it's not just on the surface, it also comes from the soul. Beauty is very soothing to the eye. It's very, very soothing. <laughs> it is to define or measure physical beauty, everyone seems to know a beautiful person when they see one. And according to sociologists, when we do see a beautiful person, we treat them either far better or far worse than we do average looking folks. While none of the models interviewed for this story would expect you to sympathize with their situation, along with all the advantages of being beautiful, comes a number of downsides as well. We're just normal people and we have problems like everybody else, number one. And number two, I think that people expect different things of us. They expect us to be a certain way, to talk a certain way, to behave a certain way. And that just can't be because we are normal people and we want to behave the way we want to behave. So, do you know what I mean? So I think that there's a lot of false expectations of beauty. Hello, beautiful. How'd you get so beautiful? How'd you get that sunshine in your smile? People think that just because you're beautiful, you have no brain first. So most of the time when they talk with you, it's, hello, how are you? You're so beautiful. Uh, ne they never talk about politics. They never ask you about your, if you really have feelings or if you are human, you are just a beauty. So it's not cool to be a beautiful person, I think. Being a beautiful woman, most people feel that you're an idiot. Sometimes when someone pays you a compliment about your intelligence, you're not sure if they're actually meaning it to your beauty and not to your intelligence and that is very insulting because you can be talking to someone this is like the dumb model theme here you know the theory rather and uh, you talk to someone and they go oh yes it's wonderful oh yes I love your French it's beautiful it's beautiful but they're looking somewhere else they're not even looking at you so yes that's very annoying <laughs> hello beautiful how can you be beautiful and still be mother's angel child. People are staring at you, you know, it's always been like that. People are constantly just looking at you, watching every move you make. It's so uncomfortable. The fact that people watch how you look, and the minute you get like one tiny line, she's over, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's over. You know what I think is the downside sometimes? When people, because they're beautiful, when they get so used to get and they get away with a lot of things. You know, just small things in life. Yeah. And if you live for that, it's going to be very, very hard for you to get older. That's what I always feel like, yeah. you know? Exactly. Aging is, is a problem when you're used to being pretty and young. I think that if people become too attached to the way they look or too defined by the way they look, then it might be a problem. But for me, it's, it just opened up a million doors. This business, I guess, um, because you know we're beautiful girls, and it seems like we have everything. So people get to be very um, nasty towards you because of that, because there's jealousies. The natural beauties who were born that way, who are lucky, damn, who get paid for it, damn, huh? I think we should be paid for our abilities, and, and, and I guess there's something, there's something we have to work on there. Being a beautiful woman is, is, I don't know, for a lot of times for men, kind of like, I got her too. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a commodity instead of who you are as a person. Are you a model? You want to have coffee with me? Like people walking up to me on the street and thinking I'm going to go for, co co for coffee with them, like right then, <laughs> upon meeting them? No, sorry. I mean, just a lot of men stare sometimes and it can be annoying at times. How do you handle it? I act like a snob. I don't think it's something that you should be a bitch about or anything because it, it's what God gave you, it's what your parents, I mean, it, there's no reason to be like bitchy about it. Just be thankful for what you have and maybe if you're lucky it'll get you a job like this. Oh, hello beautiful, listen to me beautiful, 50 million Frenchmen can't be wrong.